Yeah, good afternoon everybody. Uh, Ryan here again today. Uh, today, my um, I've got one of those little Chinese knockoff uh, like Spar or Wabasto heaters. Same same concept, but they're a little bit a little bit different, but kind of the same thing. Uh, you can find them on Amazon anywhere from $125 all the way up to around 200 ish depending on who's selling it or whatever, exactly what how big a kilowatt size it is. Uh, so I had the five. Uh, KW1 in my truck because my original uh, SPAR here that from Thermo King with the EPU it quit working and then as you all probably know they're close to a thousand dollars to replace those so I got on Amazon I found these whole kits and the first one I bought I think I paid like 120 and I paid like 125 for this one but I was out in Idaho and it started spitting fuel out the exhaust pipe and sputtering and all that and as cheap as they are it's at the buy instead of buying parts it's it's uh, cheaper just to buy a whole new kit here and i'm just going to swap out uh, the actual heater unit and just leave everything else in place i'll probably change a fuel pump and a filter out of course um, but as far as the wine and all that it's all the same so i'm going to leave all that in the panel in place so i'm going to show you what you get with one of these kits if you buy one what's all in there and also, I'm not going to be putting in the harness or the panel today, which is relatively simple. Um, it's kind of self, mostly self-explanatory, uh, but I'm going to show you basically what I'm changing, changing out the, the heater itself, the, uh, the fuel pump, and the uh, uh, fuel filter. So um, get on with it here. I'll show you what's, what you'll get with one of these. So they give you a fuel tank which I guess if you had a vehicle that ran on something other than diesel, uh, you could mount this. And there's, this doesn't have a hole or anything, and there's a little bulkhead fitting, which uh, I actually used the last one of these to, uh, I put the fitting in it and used it as like a nurse tank to start when I was working on this John Deere. I didn't have the fuel tank or anything on it. I didn't have the hood on it, so it was nice to where I could test around the tractor with like an external tank without having to install the tank. So, I mean, if you don't need it, um, I'd hold on to it. It'd be good for something, you know, if you needed to use it on something else. I mean, these are pretty nice little tank, you know. I mean, I'd probably pay 25 or $30 for that, you know, so it's nice to have. Um, this one here actually gives you pretty good instructions. The first one I bought, it was like a little, like one piece of paper, and it was uh, pretty, pretty vague. So, uh... So this is a lot more in depth. So if you if you get this one, you're gonna have a lot easier time than I did when I installed this thing the first time. Because like I said, the, the last time it was literally like one sheet and it was the most broken English I think I've ever seen on paper. Uh, so they're gonna, if you don't already have a heater in your truck, they're gonna give you this plate to put in and you're gonna have to take, drill two holes for the intake and exhaust and the fuel line and uh, mount this plate in your truck underneath the bunk or something or wherever you want to put it. So I won't need that. And so in here they're going to give you a little, little ducking. Uh, I think the last one I bought, they gave me two of these. And there's a little louver there. Uh, so if you need to install that, I think that's a stretch too. I think that stretch quite a bit. So you got that little duct work and a louver there. If you need to install that, I'm not going to be using that this time. And then you got a whole bag of clamps, uh, a little fuel line it looks like, fuel filter. Uh, this thing right here, this plastic rubber thing, this is the, to mount the fuel pump. And uh, like I said, the screws, bolts, all that good stuff. So we'll probably, probably throw that fuel filter on. Uh, fuel line, this stuff, it looks the same as the last one I did. The, uh, this fuel line isn't big enough for the fittings that they give you, so you'll probably have to buy something different. And just, like I said, last time, this, the fuel line that came with it, it wasn't even the right size fuel, fuel lines for the, uh, for the unit itself and for all the other fuel, fuel, fuel pump and all that, so, um, most likely you're not going to be able to even use that. Then you got the uh, wiring harness, so it's not too complex. I mean, if you're going to install, I'm not. I'm just going to hold on to this as a spare since I'm already 
already have it all installed. But uh, you just got it's already got a fuse and everything here. All you got to do is hook up to positive, negative on your battery, run the fuel line, and then you've got a connection for the fuel pump. Which this is the weak link on this harness here. I had it where I got some salt or something up in there, and this this came these these wires just broke apart up in there where they were bare. So I actually had to I was out on the road, so my truck still had the original Thermo King harness for the S bar heater, and I ended up cutting cutting that other plug off and uh, butt connecting it and heat shrinking it all, and uh, and it's been fine ever since. But chances are. And, and the first winter you run this and salt or whatever, those can it probably come, because this is about pretty chintzy, about like the first one I had. So you may have to replace that. So uh, just keep an eye. If your pump stops working or something, or your heater ain't working, get onto the fuel pump and check this connection first to see if it isn't broke apart or pulled loose. So other than that, like I said, you got a, that's for the panel. And this is for the little heater unit, so it's real, real simple harness. Just three plugs, and like I said, that's the little fuse in there. So then um, you get an exhaust pipe here. You can bend that around, which I actually got a lot longer one from Thermo King to go to the back of the truck because it's pretty good distance. It's about three or four feet back there, so this wasn't quite. I mean, you could use it, but it doesn't go all the way to the back of the the sleeper on the truck. And then you got a uh, intake pipe for the unit itself as well. So that's that. And then you got a little panel here, which uh, you, I think they just give you some double sided tape where you just stick that up in the cab somewhere. And this will pop out of there. Or you could screw it if you wanted to. So I'm not going to change this out because this is the exact same thing that I have in the truck right now. So we got that. So and like I said, these are all spare parts. The stuff that I'm not using is all spare parts for me in case something goes awry. And now uh, the fuel pump. So if you got an S bar heater now and you're going to put one of these in and your fuel pump works, you can just leave all that in place because it's the exact same fuel pump as the S-Bar heaters. Same plug, it works the same and everything. So if you're just changing out, like just kind of doing what I'm doing, the only thing you're really gonna need to do is put that harness in and uh, all the fuel system, you can pretty well leave it in place and reuse it from, from an S-Bar system going to this. I mean, um, like I said, that plate and the, the bolt pattern and all that on the heater is all the same as an S-Bar. So I don't know, I don't know about the Wabastios if they're the same or not. And this is the actual heater unit right here. So I just got a plug. This this sits down in on that plate. And then there's four bolts that go into it. Fuel line hooks up. Then um, I believe this is the intake and that's the exhaust, if I remember right. And then this is the intake for the air that's going to heat. Then um, I've just got a short piece of duct, about three or four inches in mine, which will take off the old one. And I stick that on and it goes into the underneath the, the bunk in the truck. So so real simple, not a lot to this. Like I said, um, it's nice that they have a lot more in-depth directions there. But, uh, so that's pretty much what you're going to get. Like I said, they are, kits are, I mean, the other one I got in there, I think it's blue and orange, different color, but it's it's the same. It's exactly the same other than that. So if you buy one of these, this is everything you're going to get. Like I said, with the other the other kit I bought, I had two pieces of duct work, I think was the only difference. So but, uh, so that's pretty much uh, what you're, what you're going to get with one of these. And uh, we'll go out there and uh, take the old one out real quick and pop this one in. And hopefully it uh, works because... I got a trip going out tomorrow and it's uh, a lot of snow outside right now so so I don't really want to have to run the truck so and the other thing with these with these heaters you know if you're idle in your truck for heat you're going to use probably a half a gallon to a gallon of fuel per hour you know and if you're figuring 250 you know it's costing you on a 10 hour break it could be costing you $25 a day to idle your trucks I mean for $125 or $130 or whatever, these things can pay for themselves in in five days, five, six days. So, and, and plus you're not idle in your truck, you know, because I, I don't like the vibration 
when I'm idling the truck, so it's just a lot more peaceful. And it's it it really adds up if you're idle in the truck that much. So this thing can really, and I don't you know as what the price is. I mean I don't care if I got I've had this one in the truck now for about 18 months, and it and I haven't had a single problem with it till the other day. So I mean I don't I mean I would be for the price that I've paid for this and as easy it is to put in, uh, it wouldn't bother me if I had to put a new one in every year for you know for what that cost. I mean if you go to buy an S bar. Um, just a glow plug alone costs you more than what this whole kit does. Just for a glow plug in an S bar is like 130 or $135 or something. So you can pretty much buy this buy this whole thing over and over for what a glow plug. I mean, I think the screens are for the uh, the glow plug screen in these are 10 or 15 dollars. So um, said so it wouldn't bother me at all if I had just I bought one and changed it out every year instead of even even messing around with it. So. Anyways, uh, that's that. Uh, we'll go ahead and go outside here and switch this thing out. All right, so I said I've already got one of these units installed in here, and we're just gonna switch out the unit, the uh, fuel pump and the filter in there. And I'll show you the one that I have. So it's this mounted right here where the S-bar heater was originally mounted. And actually, the old wiring for it's all still down here, so I just left everything in place. So this new one that we just bought's all the same. So that's all I got to do to unhook that. And uh, I've just got a short duct that goes up there underneath the bunk, basically. So it's like the only difference in these is the color. So that's all we got to unhook right there. Uh, then down here we got a little little intake, the fuel line, and a little exhaust. And there's four bolts underneath here. So I'm going to take those loose real quick. The fuel pump's right here. And it goes in right there where my APU and the original S-Bar uh, pump. I mean, everything everything's the same as what I had set up with the original S-Bar. So. But, uh, and hook a fuel line. Oh. oh, I got fuel all over me. And uh, as I said before, I got a lot longer exhaust pipe from, from Thermo King. Or actually, I think I might have got that online or something. Or maybe I did get it at Thermo King. But uh, that, that's like a metric size, so it's kind of, I can't remember exactly if it's like a 50 millimeter or 60 millimeter or something. So we're gonna take these two things loose. And I see it's snowing pretty hard here. So it just kind of came out of nowhere. So that's that. And about all you should need is uh, a couple little nut drivers here. This is a five and a six millimeter, and just a little metric socket set. Looks like I will be using the new exhaust. <laughs> or I can just shorten that up a little bit. So I got 
had a little exhaust pipe off. I had to get a pair of channel locks for that and uh, taking these four bolts off, which I came out easy so on the last one here. that um, and as I said before I'm gonna replace this fuel pump and this this has this little wire just press that in pull the plug off and this is what I was talking about earlier that I had to replace so you can see this this s bar thermo king one's a lot a lot heavier wire and made a little bit better quite honestly uh, so just this slips in this rubber keeper thing, this pump, and I'm just going to pull everything out and just replace. I'll keep the hose and uh, put a new filter on and change that pump out as well while we're doing this so everything will be, for the most part, new. So I'll go ahead and cut this and uh, take it loose back there and we'll go inside for a minute and get out of the snow <laughs> all right so I got the old one out right here and just comparing everything to make sure everything is the same and they look pretty well and the only difference I see is they moved the wiring to the other side which won't really make a difference in what we're doing here uh, so I had to just take this little duct off put it on the new one and um, I'm gonna put a new fuel filter on here and uh, change that pump out and then we'll throw everything back in here so I'm going to take this off first I believe I had to shave that down a little bit. <laughs> socket for that. Loosen that up. Now let's take this clamp off here.
All right, so there's the old one, which I will keep that for, it was working, so um, I'll clean it up and throw it in a box in here and have it in case I ever need it. Put this little clamp on. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, almost there. <laughs> Put that on first to make that a little easier. There we go. There's that. So just need to grab the socket and loosen that up and uh, we get that tightened up on the fuel filter then go back out there and put everything back together. So that should be uh, hook it up and stud it up and should be hopefully pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna stick the new one back in here and go ahead and pull that little fuel line cap off. And see, Jesus, line that up with my little duck there. It's there, I'll go ahead and plug it in. If I can find it. And it's plugged back in. So I'm just gonna stick the bolts back in the bottom of it here. And uh, like I said, I had an S-PAR heater in here originally, and I didn't change anything. This is all, this is pretty much a direct uh, change out for that unit other than the wiring. Um, but as far as your mounting here and the uh, fuel, fuel lines, it's all the same.
All right, stuff's a little tricky to get all lined up when it's 20 degrees out here and your hands are freezing. Never mind. I did this yesterday and it was like 35 degrees and sunny out. <laughs> Exhaust is hooked up, and um, I went inside and grabbed the fuel line and uh, hook that up and the intake and give it a try. All right, so we can should be able to slide all that through there. That's the way it came out anyways. Didn't bring a pair of pliers with me. <laughs> Put the intake back on. Tighten that up. Yeah, I think we got everything hooked up properly here. And uh, like I was saying earlier, since my harness is already in, uh, if you're doing a new install, you're gonna have to run, you know, the wiring out, out and uh, to the batteries, which are under there. Um, with as much snow as we got coming down, I mean, this is just—I just started this like an hour ago, and everything's already covered, so it's 
kind of came out of nowhere here. Uh, so everything's secure in here. Uh, like I said, the only, diff only thing you're not seeing, the little panel, uh, you can just mount that in there anywhere and it just has that plug in it. So that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'm gonna jump in there and turn it on real quick and should be able to hear it start pumping fuel and all that down here and hopefully light off and put some heat out. All right, so I got everything hooked up, had it uh, running here for about 15 minutes or so. Um, got my skirting back on and I screwed up that piece when I was doing it, so I gotta fix that here when I get back home probably. Uh, but as you can, um, you may be able to hear down here, it's the pumps running and you can hear the blower. I've got it on the highest setting. And uh, everything's running there. So we'll go in there real quick and look at the panel. So kind of a mess in here. It may be hard to see. But as you can see, I got it on the highest setting. That means the fuel pump's working. Uh, yeah, fans blowing and intake and exhaust. So it's a lot warmer in here than it was. So it's at nine degrees Celsius. I don't know what that, uh, what is it like 50 or so? Fahrenheit right around there. So. I haven't I'll have to go through the book to figure out how to change that. But at 5.5, that's the highest setting. So you can lower it or raise it. So, and um, the voltage is nice too, so you can see that. So, put that back up there, and uh, it's pretty well the end of this job. So. All right, so uh, that's pretty well the end of this. Uh, we'll try it out on the next trip and hopefully get another year, year and a half out of this one. Uh, as far as, you know, we got all the last one, I'd be pretty satisfied, so it works really well. Um, again, big money saver um, for $130 for a whole unit. Take you maybe two hours to put it in if you got to do the whole install on it. Um, you can pretty well save that much on fuel from idling in, in five or six nights or days or whatever you do. So uh, we'll put a link up for uh, this particular one on uh, from Amazon or whatever. Uh, so if you guys are looking for one, we'll have that link up in the, uh, the, the title or the comment section or whatever it is. Uh, so that'll be on there. So uh, that's pretty well it for this. Uh, again, I uh, appreciate all the, the new subscribers, the views and all that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Uh, hit the bell for the updates, like the video, and uh, uh, if you're new to the channel, you know we do the uh, owner-operator, Landstar stuff, uh, tracking stuff, truck, lot, truck maintenance, uh, farm stuff, farm equipment maintenance, uh, and just all kinds of other projects. So, so if you're interested in that, again, uh, please subscribe. And uh, we appreciate the views, subscribers, and we'll see you next time.